Fisk! What did you do? <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> just gonna go in. I'm gonna repair your Seamoth even though it doesn't need repairing. Don't, don't, don't touch ah. my Seamoth. Ah. Never touch my Seamoth. Oh what happened to your body then? Alright, so... Should we show the people at home what you've just learned? Yes. Because it's, uh, it's quite... It's quite the uh, advancement. I don't, I don't like badly. that you're saying that, that what I've learned because I did this to your sea moth, but you can blame me if your blows up now. I don't no, like no, that. No. You're going to say, have... Fisk, what did you do? That's what you're going to say. That's what you <laughs> <that's... laughs> I have full faith in you. So, oh, yeah. Upgrade so console. Uh, if you remember, well, you remember, obviously, but the people at home, uh, we tried to go down deep. What was it? Yep. Up to after 200 meters with the sea moth. Yep. It didn't work. So we need to upgrade it so it goes down to 300 meters. And yeah, uh, get that crushing depth. Yep. in here, I uh, found the Seamoth Depth Module MK1. I already uh, crafted mine. Yeah, so, so it enhances safe diving depth and does not stack. So it only takes a titanium ingot and two glass, which is quartz. So yeah, you've already put one in mine, haven't you? Oh wait, yeah, no, that one's mine over there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's yours. So I've you renamed already, wait, wait, mine as well. Yeah, I want to name one mine as well. Seamoth. Stop it! <laughs> I can type it. Yeah, you can. Stop it. I don't want it. Trash. Oh, you, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's going to be it. Oh, the trash sub? Yeah. I bet you any money that thing survives all the way through Every this series now. Did, yes. Look at that. Right, you so can see you... it. Do you see it saying on the side? Yeah, I do. Yeah, it says trash. It's oh, absolutely perfect. trash. Can you put Are that you, um... in uh, caps, please? <laughs> I'll put it in caps. Have you got the uh, upgrade module? Yeah. You so use? you just click on those and then click and drag. And there you go. Crush depth now 300 meters. So all that aside, we've upgraded our Seamoths. And this is what we got to do today. We've got to go back to the big island first because we keep getting told there is a PDA over there that we missed. Mm -hmm. And you know Paul Marguerite and Bart? Yeah, yeah. Apparently, there's a PDA which explains a lot of their story. So, Ooh, the so whole gassy thing. We missed the whole, like, uh, the most important thing about yeah, that. Yeah, so we're, we're going right. to have to scan the uh, the big island for, for some some kind of PDA that we missed somewhere. I don't know where it will be, but, you know, we, we can have a little look over there. And then once we've done that, we need to have a look at see if we can make the stasis rifle. The stasis? Because... What, what does that do? Is that the one that repels them? Uh, no, that... Oh, I don't know. Um, the stasis rifle freezes them while, I guess, oh, scientists examine the stuff. So, yeah, remember yeah. a while ago when you mentioned about the Reaper? Can you freeze it? I think yeah. you can. You've just got to be really accurate and hit it right in the head. <laughs> Ooh. Um, so, we got to do that today because I'm sure you've had it from peeps too, saying it's time to go into the Aurora. Mm, so, yes, yes. that's the plan for today. We're not going to bite off more than we can chew because, as we've said, if I like there's it. any like weird stuff that happens for anyone viewing... It's because we're trying to work around the mod a little bit. It's the only way we can get to it was in Subnautica. So we've, we, we, you know, we take the good with the bad. But are you ready to go? I think I am. I'm a little bit nervous because we need to go to that pod, right? And that's, it's pretty deep. Wait, wait. Do you want to go to the, 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 the Keen pod? I think uh, we actually going to go above it now when we're going towards the island, aren't oh, we? Oh, yeah. Let's go there then on the way. Let's go there now then. Oh, now? So... Yeah, because we're, it's, it's on the way, isn't it? I don't know where the island is, Fisk. I've forgotten. Oh, uh, it's just uh, shrouded, this way. Isn't it? Just straight ahead. With the previous episode where Fisk saw his Seamoth explode, and I obviously didn't if anyone watched my video, you'll you'll notice that when we got back to the base, there was one there, but now there isn't. There's two. We've had to make another one. So there'll always be one extra one due to, I think it's like a desync issue or the, something the, like it's, that. Yeah, it's probably desync. That's what it can... Uh, what I can recognize it as, or yeah. that the mod is actually an alpha. Are you still seeing me traveling normal right now, by the way? Oh, God. I guess not. Ooh, dude, I'm terrified, I gotta say. it's uh, So now we're actually going into caves? Oh, yeah, we are. Uh, Switch to comms, I guess. Check, check, check. Hello? Hello, hello. All right, you go first, dude. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, you gotta go first. Oh, them's the rules. I can't get to him, really. Oh, wait, oh, yeah, we can. Fist, come to me. Oh. <laughs> come to me. Oh, I don't like it when he turned around like this. Look at this, Fist. Look, look straight down there. Oh. Be on the lookout on the walls, too, for anything that looks different. You know, for that magnetite or something? Yeah. Oh, we got something right there. 
This thing? Uh, I think it's, yes, yeah, some uh, sort of diamond. Let me, let me check that. Oh, you mean somewhere else? Okay, I don't know what that was. Copper or gold? Uh, or ruby. Ruby. Obsidian. <laughs> what are these? Oh, here it is. Right, you uh, you see the pod, right? This is 19? Yeah. Got a data bank here. Uh, data box, sorry, not data bank. Ultra-high capacity! Ultra high. <laughs> that's great! That's great! So that's a better... <laughs> Ultra-high capacity! <laughs> capacity! Location uploaded to PDA. Right, jump in the same map and we'll have the read yep. of this. Oh yeah, I never left, dude. Integrating new PDA data. Right. Uh, alien survivors, life pod 19. Okay, so... To all crew, if you are reading this, then you follow the automatic distress signal broadcast by the life pods on board computer. Contrary to my orders. I have been forced to evacuate. Your orders are to disregard my safety and attempt to reach the designated rendezvous coordinates at the nearest landmass. I hope to see you there. Oh, oh so uh, that's going to be the island then? Must be. Breaching. <laughs> No breach, dude! <laughs> wait, right left, break. this has got to... Wait! Oh, shit! Dude, we were... Whoa. Oh, wow. It was so close. Oh, we can have a look under the island now. Yeah, let's have a look down here. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Whoa! What's that? New biome. Keep an eye on your depth. Can you scan those balls? Mm. <laughs> can <right>. you... <laughs> Right, it's called oh, anchor pod. Anchor pods. Indigenous life form. What does that mean? Wait. Uh, I, I think it, I think it means located to this specific area. Ah, all right. It's kind of crazy how bright is it, it is down it, here. It is, isn't it? I was just thinking that too. I think it's uh, just because of those balls, right? Lumin luminescent balls. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Wow! Fisk! Oh my god, what's that? Wait, it's three of them! What is it? Wait, scan them, yes? Oh, you, you've got to do that, dude. It's asking you to do it. Wow, they're so weird looking. Oh, wait, I don't actually know if I have my scanner with me, Come dude. close. Coming off comms. Hold on. Can you scan them? Uh, I gotta go back to my cinema. I, I've got to go get some air. Yep. I'm going to try to scan it. Okay. Going in from behind. <laughs> sea treater. Sea treader. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Yeah, sea treader leviathan. It is a leviathan. That's so cool looking. I, I love the fact that not all of them are actually aggressive. That's so yeah. cool. Yeah, that's the second non-aggressive one, isn't it? Because we had the uh, the weak back. What did it say about Welcome them? Aboard, Captain. Uh, I didn't read oh, anything. Oh, the other's gone. Oh, they've walked away. They've left this one on his own. Oh. Oh my god, I hit a fish. That scared the shit out of me. It's not subtle, it? You absolutely slam the hell out of it, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Whomp. <laughs> straight through it. Whomp. <laughs> straight away. <laughs> Bonk. Uh, right. I guess we can leave them here. Wait, yeah. why is that still there? We got that one. Didn't we? Yeah, that might be the up. one that we uh, missed out on. No, no, we got this one. Yeah, yeah you're we, right. We got this. Yeah, it's not come up with anything else. Flora, sea, anchor pods. Unusual specimens have been encountered. So exclusively on the depths. I do think that we were here a little bit too early then. Yeah, we, we I guess we stumbled across this place a bit too early on, didn't we, like you say? Yeah. Do we want to just have a general look around then? Where's your... Uh, yeah, I'm going to move mine away from the land, actually. That's stupid. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's follow this up, I mean, so we can... Uh, I would love to have uh, some bulba. Why is everything you say, like, super sus? <laughs> <laughs> want some bulba, dude? It's like, you've, uh, it's like you're saying something to me, but you mean I something else. I want some bulba, so Joss! <laughs> I got so many people say it as well. When we found the alien island with that massive bulb tree, they were just like, oh, 
<laughs> See you over there. <laughs> Sucking on that massive bulbar tree. Like, that was all you, though. That was all you being dirty about that. What, what are you talking about? That yeah. wasn't me. No, you. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing with that bulbar tree, dude? I'm just cutting the seeds, dude. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Wait, did we ever go up to that one up there on top? We did, right? Yeah, we did. We did. We did. I'm going to check around the back here. Because yeah. this is like the only area where we didn't really search. Uh, I'll follow this path. Okay. Uh, I'll uh, I'll go uh, comms. Yep, check check. Oh, check, check, oh, check got check. one fist, got oh, one. You got right it. here, found All it. Right. Yep. Fast. Location uploaded to PDA. You got it. The gassy voice log three. Uh, yep. Come on. Up PDA data. Dude, finding those stuff down down below, just walking around like that, it got me hyped. Yeah, it's, the, I'm so a excited. Huge part of this game is the exploration. Okay, when we get the Cyclops, which shouldn't be far away. You're going to be mind blown, Fisk. I promise yeah. you, you're going to be mind. I just hope everything holds together. I, mean, I want we'll to believe work. how scary this can be. I want to um, think there is beauty to the game as well, as much as it's scary. Yeah, absolutely. Well, there is. There's there's, there's beauty in horror too, right? Yeah. Now we're getting really deep. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> but there is. There's beauty. Like, for example, you uh, when you were back on Earth before we crash landed it, you played a game called Scorn, right? There was yep. beauty in that game for how yep. horrific it is. Oh, yeah. True, so, true, true. All right, so if we, uh, I'm just having a look around here. I don't know if there's anything else. Uh, if we open the, the tablet, people have said that we can play these, by the way, and then close the tablet, but it, it's fine. We like listening to it while it's open. Yeah, so because you, uh, you know how it works with me. If we start playing that and I go, well, f doing something else, I'm just not going to listen. Yeah, me too. I get, it's easy to get distracted, isn't it? Especially when there's so many new Dude, shiny things that you can mess with. This is with. so what? pretty. Look at that massive bulbo tree behind you. <laughs> Oh, dude. Stop. Right. Open your PDA. You ready? You fit in here because you're beautiful as well. Yeah, you fit in because you're a <laughs> massive bulbo. <laughs> Degassi voice log three. It's under Altera three. search and rescue mission. Yes. All right. And it's called Aftermath. Three, two, one, go. You see, Chief, you brought us to this sodden planet. Told us we'd see a lush payday. Now what do we got some six weeks later? A dead crew, a habitat that's half buried, food washed away. I suppose the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face. I know enough not to take unscheduled detours to uncharted planets. That's something you don't want to learn the hard way. Easy to judge a decision in hindsight. Harder to come up with a plan of your own. Got one already. Take what we can carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. I scouted a site, a couple hundred meters deep, lots of metal deposits. How do you imagine we'd live? With ready access to building materials, like damn queens. A couple of water filters, a bioreactor, fresh fish. But Chief, mm. we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own urine if that's what it takes. Yes! All that matters is, <laughs> you got something better. Bear grills, Send come down. Send the coordinates <laughs> to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. Okay, wait, so wait, is Marguerite saying that got one ready, we take what we can and carry it hunker down in a cave somewhere? I scouted oh, a cave? site a couple of hundred meters deep. It's a couple of hundred wait, meters so deep. Wait, so they... lowers? Yeah, there it is. Do you see that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So 250... Oh, we've got the we've got the upgrade for that now, too. So we've, we've already done that. Right, cool. Should we get back to the CMOTs? Yeah, so are we going there, then? Or the Aurora? Let's go yeah, there, I, then. I, I, I want to go there, dude. Yeah, I dude. I want to see what yeah. this leads to. Yeah. <laughs> Are you excited, Fizz? Let's I'm do excited. it. Yeah, dude, I'm excited. Genuinely, though, because, like, I know, obviously, like, a lot of people have probably played this. Like, a lot of people. But, like, everyone that's still rocking with us and, like, sharing in the fun. And so many people, as well, not spoiling these episodes. Thank you so much. There were a few. There were a few people who were trying to help. And I, I, we get it. But <laughs> please, guys, don't tell us what, like, what we need to build or... Where At we the should end go of to the find day, something. This is an open world uh, exploration game, survival. It's there is no rule how to play it. You take everything in your own pace, and it, you we're gonna get there. Yeah, we will. We'll, yeah. we'll be a bit slower, but you have to remember something that you know we don't because we've never experienced it before. But again, the majority of people who are like, "This is crazy that that you were uh, you're playing it this way," or "I've not seen it this way before," or "You're you're blown away by this." Yeah. Wait till you come across like X and Y, or wait till you see down in the caves. It's so cool that you I've guys are. I've seen aren't a couple of people like that. that actually got the game to play together with us, like playing yep. alongside. That is so cool. It's amazing, me. isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's really cool. Jump off this. Uh. I'm going to land on your sea moth. You know that, right? Oh. Huh? Nailed it. 
<laughs> Bonk. Do you know what th that this reminds me of? What? Have you seen the the movie Beach? With Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah. No, never. Okay, I don't want to jinx anything, but uh, the Seamoth has been uh, working great for us. Oh, why did you say that? <laughs> now when we go in super deep as oh, well. The next, all I'm going to hear in a minute is, Oh my God! <laughs> oh, it's getting exploded. super dark. Yep. We should be okay though. If it's only 250 meters down. Yep. I'm going to let you go a little bit ahead so I don't uh, hit you. Twitching comms. Roger that. It says 250 meters down anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's 250 meters down. So the depth is the one in the bracket, right? Yeah, and then the it's range gotta is be, the... yeah. I didn't think so... about that. Oh, no, Fisk, I just thought of something. What? Did, did they die down here? Maybe. That was just... That wasn't uh, the sun. The sun was not careful, there. Careful, we got terrain. We're gonna oh, have to shit. go around. <laughs> oh, he's th I... th There's like bone shards. Oh! Be careful. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh, that made me jump so bad. Wildlife around this area is so aggressive. Yeah, I just can hear a bunch of roars. We need to kind of slip through a rock here and go straight. Oh, okay. Uh, I can't see the, the gassy stuff though. Are you ready, buddy? It's down here. Oh, shit. Yep, this is gonna get a little bit claustrophobic. Oh, too. radiation detected. Alright, put your mask on. Alright. Coming down. Wow. Oh. oh, wow. Oh, I thought that was an eye, dude. Oh, Fisk, 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 just a heads up. I'm not, I don't want you to freak out. There's a creature down here. It's that snake. That we saw before? Yeah, can you see his tail? Oh! It's... Oh! It disappeared. All right. Dis all right, all right. Get down to the, the get down to the unit. Wow. Can you see his tail? Whoa, there it is over there. I can't see him. I can't see him, dude. I don't have eyes. All right. Uh, Look for an entry point where we can... Uh, oh, right here. Get in this cave support uh, up here in the two. Possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. That is so cool. We got an this entry biome, point right here. This biome support. Oh, you see it? Yep. This biome yeah. supports predatory life forms, so those things are bad. Oh, where, where is yeah. the entry point? Uh, right up on the tube above. All right, I'll follow you. I'm getting on the uh, sea uh, Oxygen efficiency decreased. All right. Passing 200 meters. Get the... Oxygen efficiency Wait, 200 meters. Decreased. Yeah, I think you need to put on the other mask for this. Oh, shit. All right, let me scan this. Modification station. Where are you? Underneath you. Okay. You see an entry point? I thought I did. There's stuff in there, Fisk. Definitely. Whoa. Alright, I, I found it. I'm in top. Oh, shit. Oh, I see you, buddy. I see you. I see you. Oh, wait. I'm panicking. I need to... Wait. I need to breathe. Okay. You're doing good. You're doing good. There's poison <laughs> in there. <laughs> oh. I don't know, I swam into something, man. Oh my lord. What do you mean there's poison? Dude, I'm so terrified because I got in there and then I got some sort of poison. I think there is some uh, things hanging that if it's you touch it, you get, po you get poisoned. It's a jellyfish. Is it a jellyfish? Yeah, they're everywhere, look. Oh, yeah, that's what it, okay. All right. Don't touch their barbs. All right, I'm going in because I'm terrified. PDA on the box on your oh. right, Fisk here. Oh. You see it? Sorry? Over here? You see the box, the, the PDA on the table? Yep. I'm just going to heal myself. Got it. Nice, nice, nice. Integrating new PDA data. There's one behind you here too. Uh, yeah, another one. one. Yep. So we got three now. Data. Keep going through the Solo whole thing if you can find something that we can scan. PDA. Yep. There's another PDA in the far end of the of the facility, Fisk. All right, on my way. This is terrifying, man. You're doing good. You're doing good. Oh, I found a bed. Yeah, we did. did that, right? Yeah, we did. We needed a bed. Perfect. 
<laughs> that means we're gonna be able to sleep through the night. Do you roll too good? Uh, yeah, half, halfway down. Uh, EA on the table. Nice, nice. Uh, Integrating new PDA data. I think no. we got everything then. There's nothing in the lockers or anything? Uh, not what I could see. Ah, oh, god damn it. Poisoned. Uh, I'm going up top. Oh, there's a PDA up top. There's a PDA in the observatory thing. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna grab that. I need to nice. come back. Integrating new PDA data. Good work, man. Well done. That was good. 30 seconds. Oh my god, you good, you good? Oh my god, Fisk, what is right here? I can't see it, I can't see it. I'm so happy about that. Oh, no, oh I can't see god. it. I'm so sorry. Did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. I saw it's like, it. A, like a sausage. <laughs> it's just flailing around, dude. <laughs> so. Being attacked. Oh shit, go, go, go. It's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. I learned that the hard way. But I've managed to okay, coax some marble good, melons good. into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but it's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access. But the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. That's what they what are. What they don't eat oh. settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Coevolution gives me the fuzzies. So they actually right. in the root of this mushroom right here. So yeah, they hide in the, the in those mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. and then the, their crap fertilizes everything else. Basically, everything feeds everything here. There's always a bigger it's fish, I guess. So cool, isn't thing. it? Right. Uh, next one. You ready? Uh, the go. second one. Yes. Three, two, one, go. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So. I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have. And those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. Said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She oh. is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest armed with just a heat blade and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other... Well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals. But Father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. Are you, uh, are you close by? Uh, yeah, I'm behind the mushroom just yes. above you. Stay tucked in because they're everywhere here, by the yep. way. I don't know if you've seen them. They're kind of like, they're going around. Also, w did you hear about what they just said about the stalker, by the way? Yeah, so I think if... We so if that theory works, we should be able to have metal and then give it to them. And they should eat that? Drop their teeth, yeah. yeah. Have you ever seen the stalkers carrying the scrap pieces? That's what it's, it's referencing oh, there. Oh, okay. well, look at that peeper. That peeper is a different color, by the way. I want to scan it. Uh, we got more uh, PDAs. Do you want to check those now as well, or do you want to check yeah, well, those when I we get back? Yeah, I want to try and get out of this area, dude, because I think yep. those crab snakes are going to destroy us. Look at that. How cool is no that way. fish? Oculus. Right, well, uh, we'll we'll go up to the surface and get away from this area, because I yep. eat food too, so we should start heading back. Do you want to lead the good. way out? Yep. You know where we came from? Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm right here. 
I'll look okay. Oh, I don't see you. Oh, there you are. Uh, I need you to take that. What? The module on there. On where? Right here. I, I don't see it. Oh. Well, I'll put it in for you then. Oh no, I've, I've, I've got my storage module. I've already got mine. Oh, I, I put it in now. You've put it on mine? Okay, yeah. hold on. Uh. Ooh, what about that? And then. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? Why are you just... <laughs> what? This is so wonky. I could When you jumped into your sea moth, you <laughs> just spun around up towards the moon. Oh, yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> your, uh, your flaps open at the top and your feet are poking through the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> right, do we want to go inside the uh, the thing here and look at the distress? Oh, distress yeah, yeah, yeah. We got uh, the call, don't we? Yeah, because you've got a few things that we've uh, got ahead of us now. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got two PDA uh, messages as well that yeah, we want we to do, take yeah. care of. Why are you Let's so get... short, dude? You are the real short king, aren't you? I don't know. Why, why are you bullying me? <laughs> okay, let's listen. Are you ready? Playing partially oh. translated broadcast. Oh! Nine new biological subjects designated. Mode. Hunting. Analyzing. Sharing subject locations with other agents. Some of that oh. Oh, sound. Do you know what that sound like? <gasps> Transformers. No, I, I no, was, no, no, <laughs> it no. It fully sounded like a Decepticon. I don't know what that was, but it gave me chills. Dude, that, I, that so scanned cool. me, man. That was so sick. Okay, right. Before we look at the next one. Oh, wait. Have we got another message? No. All right. Open the, uh, the PDA. Open the yep. We um, have the, uh, the, the gassy voice log five. Yeah, let's start there then. Pecking order. Oh, wait. Ready? So do you have the fifth one, the sixth one, and then Paul... Four goals, log two, dilemma. Yeah, yeah. So we got one uh, and two then after them too. Ready? So yep. we're starting on five right now. Pecking order. Three, two, one, go. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decisions? We need her. We let her think what she likes. So long as she does what she's told. And what if she doesn't? <laughs> for enough money, she will. People always do. Are you ready for number six? Yep, let's do it. Three, two, one, go. We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's going to do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something oh. that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad. I'm going all the same, and I have an idea you two are going to follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. So that's what we saw off a K, K down. 500 meters. What? Oh, the uh, 500 meters yeah. spot. Is that where he scanned it? Okay. Yep. Right. And you got Paul Toggle's uh, log two, right? Dilemma. Yes. Three, two, one, go. You know what Maida told me today? She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, more than a kilometer northeast of here. That's it, right? And she yep. needs Bart and I to do it. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. <sighs> this family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne Arm. Maida thinks she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. But I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, I'm mortal. And Maida is useful. Oh, God, I 
I won't so, mm. it's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island and hope whatever knocked the Degazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. There you go. Or take us deeper in search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There mm. was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. If we get off this planet, they'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> Okay, couple of things first. First, whoever they've got in to do these voice acting or the, the voice lines great. for this, they've it's done amazing. such a perfect job. Yeah. Second, uh, the lithium is obviously going to be something that we need for the Cyclops. That's what they're hinting at there. Uh, third, did you catch when he just said about swapping out his liver for another 80 years of life? How yeah, cool is so that? Just that's a tiny something, taste uh, yeah. of what, life what is. they could do in the future. Yeah. How they can that's prolong crazy. life with better medical. Oh, it's so good, that. And um, uh, also, they said something about uh, what is uh, n what knocked the gas out of the sky. We kind of know that now, right? Yep. Uh, if it is, I mean, when they shot, they did shoot the ship, and it exploded. Yeah. It but, sounds like uh, they've uh, they've all been shut down, like you yeah. were, you thought in the last episode. Right. So here's where it gets a little bit spoilery, and uh, this is kind of what we touched on before. Somebody said in my comments. Um, something about quarantine. So, I'm guessing that the whole quarantine thing, because it's mentioned a bacteria, right, called the Kara, mm -hmm. and that weapon is stopping people coming to this planet. It's, yeah. Are, are people? Are, is something here quarantined? Is or that is the what planet we have under quarantine? Wait, wait, wait. It's the planet actually under quarantine. That might be it, dude, because we are infected. We got infected yeah, really so early infected. on. Yep. So, although that is a spoiler, it kind of connects the dots a little bit. I'm not saying to anybody watching the videos, please don't spoil it, guys. Again, obviously, you know not to do that. Majority of people know not to do that. But I know a lot. there was a few people, a handful of people that yeah, were talking about something quarantine. Yeah, if you get excited quarantine. and you want to tell us, sit on your goddamn hands. <laughs> We, uh, we did a little bit of off-screen stuff to try and find things like the... What was it, Fist? The Cyclops hole? Cy was it? Yeah, it was the Lost Cyclops part, I think. Whichever one it was, it was the hull or... Yeah, no, it was. It was the hull one because we had all yeah. the bridge ones. So, yeah, it was, we, we came over here looking for more of the hull. And we, do we still need one more piece? Yeah, still one more piece. But we found something called a creature decoy. And... Uh, we worked out that there was access to get into the Aurora. So, yeah, we know that we needed the uh, the fire extinguisher. So that's that's where we're heading to now. Although, we were really, really, really lucky last time because I remember <laughs> being near the Aurora. And mm. if you remember me saying last time, I thought that big old thing spawned near the front or at least roamed, patrolled near the front. Yeah. And we didn't see it last time. Not, uh, so not uh, where the front was, no. No, I'm trying to speak it into existence so it happens this time. No, don't do that. Yeah, I'm trying Why to Why are we it. at the back? What? We don't... Oh my... Fuck off! What? What? You played that, you shit. Played what? Wait, dude, did you hear something? <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> you so scared scary. me. I'm so sorry. I was about to flip my myself. table, dude. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Oh, battery nice. This was the... Yeah, this, this is it. This is where it's all broken up. Is this where we can get in? Yep, up here. This way? You see it? You see it near me? Up here? I'm here, I'm here. I'm in. Oh, you're in. I'm in. Nice, nice. Ooh, you good? Yep, oh, it's I'm shaking. In. It's all breaking apart. Oh, we got spiders here, dude. Space Take spiders. Rip them to pieces. Pull the legs off. Dude, just run. Oh, he's hunting you. Oh, we mean Oh no, Fisk! Oh Where my god! Fisk, I'm in space! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> You're 300 oh. meters out, are you okay? Oh my god, I'm about to get calm. It's so hard for playing that, that Reaper Leviathan thing to you yes. now. Did yes! You see how far away it propelled I me then? <laughs> don't don't stand on the crabs, Fisk, whatever you do. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. 
I deserve that. That's fair. That's fair. I say no. Yeah, no, yeah, I don't no, deserve that. Do. No, no. The people at home not, do not know what you've been doing to me. What? You no. know. <laughs> what you know? You, know, you just missed it, dude. <laughs> you just missed it. It's an inside joke that no one's ever going to get, but you don't know. You don't know the thoughts you've know. been putting me through. Oh, you know what? There we go. Oh, my God. That even scared me. The Reaper Leviathan can now be <laughs> grown legs, dude. Dude, this is so cool. Look at the light there. That's, that's cool. Now I kind of want to know if we could have gone here before it exploded, you know? Yeah, probably. But that, that would have been cutting it really close with how long we yeah. take to look through stuff. We uh, we don't speed run stuff, you know? We, uh, we, we take, take our, our time. time and enjoy it. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah, what do you think? Door, door oh. and... There we go. We got... That one out. Oh, and yeah, that's airlock. wonky. You walked through fire right there. Yeah, no, don't worry about it. As long so as you've got a fire extinguisher I have, we should be okay. All right, there's a propulsion. Oh. Oh. Assistant oh. are running on local reserve power. Unable to remotely download black box data. Oh, <gasps> the Aurora a had a black box like a plane? PDA right here. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. PDA data. All right, I'm going to squirt this. Yeah, squirt the thing. I think we both gotta yeah. do it. Ah! On fire! Ah! Why are you why did you run into it? Oh, on fire! Ah! Ah, I'm on fire! <laughs> Another PDA? Nice. Oh look at this dude! New PDA data. Rising oh. above the competition, prawn suit MK3. Mark three, yeah, that's the Mark III prawn suit. That oh, is so God. cool. Oh, I've run out of fire or No. We might need more then, eh? Uh, yeah, we, we need to have find some more. Uh, okay data terminal. Should I download it? Yep, yep. Let's get get all of that good stuff. All right, let's uh, focus on this when we Integrate get back to the pod. Then. Just making sure there's nothing. Right, there's batteries here that you're missing. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm I'm giving it to you because you okay. you never miss anything. Ow! <laughs> it just runs straight into, into the fire. Right, we're going <laughs> through the uh, cargo bay. Yeah, yeah, let's go down. Is there anything Wait, in here? I'm is gonna there switch anything? This out. What? Can we actually go? Huh? Huh? I don't know if we can get down there. No, no, no. Here. 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 Is there a way through? Oh, wait. We can't crouch, can we? You huh? too thick? Yeah, I'm too thick, dude. Maybe we can't get through it then. Uh, I is there really, another way through? I really want... I really oh. want it to be bigger. Wait, wait, wait. I know why we need the propulsion cannon. Oh, <gasps> to move the debris. Are we actually able to do that? You think? I think so. Let's go back and make it yep. real quick, and we'll we'll, we'll, uh, we'll be back with you guys in a second. You see, you see that crab there, or any of that? Right click, <gasps> and he. Is, is it doing it on your screen? <laughs> Dude, he gone. I sent it to the moon. <laughs> Careful though, because it it's, it uses a lot of. Whoa, what's going on here? There we go. We can drag like debris out of the way with it. Oh, was that a... Nope. <gasps> Sorry. Can't do it on my screen. I'm going to have to do it too. Yep. <gasps> ah, fire. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, uh. Deep pool, what? deep pool. What? There's water. Oh. oh. <laughs> Didn't like that at all, dude. That scared the living shite out of me. What is down there? Oh, do we need a laser cutter to get through these? Wait, what is this? No. Oh, PDA. There we go. Integrating new PDA data. There's so much that we've Nothing got here. Nothing we can uh, scan. Uh, not really. Oh, watch no. out, watch oh, out. There's you a okay? code. There's a code to get in this room, and then we need the laser cutter. Have you got the laser cutter on you? Uh, no. Damn. Ow! Don't go near the electric. <laughs> 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 Ooh. Wait, but uh, if we need uh, a PDA, you might hold one of the codes then. The door code is 6483. 6483. 6483. Are you with me? I'm with you. I'm with you. Oh. Get me in there. Oh, oh this no. is the one we can open. All right, I see. 6483. We in? We're, we're in. in. We're in. All right, be ready scan to scan everything, shit, dude. Is there anything you can... Oh, we got a counter. <laughs> we got a counter here, Fist. Nice, dude. Look at that. Nice big counter, another PDA. God, there's so much for us to find. There's so much information. 
information in here. Another door opening it. Repulsion cannon. Oh, this goes deep, I think. No, no, that's just the other side of it. Oh. Corruption was detected Wait. On your oh, it's underneath. Your we get there? Oh, you can. Yeah, this is where we came from. So you can just go right. Yeah, so you can't go. We could have just gone around this way, but it wouldn't have opened. Okay. Right, let's yeah, go back in there go. then and see if we if there's anything we missed. Cause no uh, doubt we did. Yeah, we got uh, data terminal. Yeah, I've already got that. Oh, okay. So a lazy person to get in that room. Is that is? Oh wait, we're, this is the first level, isn't yeah. it? There's an upstairs too. All right, let's go there then. So, so let's we'll remember check that. to remember to come back here with the laser cutter then. All right. Yes. Let's go. Get go. Wait, can I do this? Oh, that, that would be funny if I could shoot oh, you. If you could away. Just fire me away. Yeah, that would be some <laughs> bullshit. Can you imagine that? We'd just be firing to the Dude, food. Oh away every my time. god! Yes. Ah, oh, what the fuck? What? What? This dripped on me, dude. Good. Battery. Uh, you open that one? Hey, code man. Here? What? Right here. Go on, then work out the next code. No, I can't. What? What do you mean? No, you can't. Why? I'm too stupid, dude. Left-handed. One, four, five, four. Got it, dude. Did you do it all on your own first? Yeah, I did. So proud of you. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, yeah, be super careful in here. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're playing those games. You you know you know what? You, you open these kind of worms. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no, no. You started this with playing no, the no, reaper no. noise. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> you, can you see like, me? I don't know. I don't, yeah. Look. <laughs> I know, dude. Where have you got? <laughs> Hiding master. <laughs> um, what's down there? Do you know? We're going down now, dude. Seamoth Bay, wait. Drive room. Hey! Why are you so slow? <laughs> I wish this person kind of would, dude. I'd be firing you so hard up the edge the of this right now. Wall, the <laughs> yep. I uh I kinda knew there was a seamoth bay in here somebody yeah. called for me. Oh <laughs> yeah. dude, I just that's remembered. It. because I see how you how much you love this. You're such yeah. a nerd. Like you're a kid a kid on Christmas. And when someone actually tells you what's to come, that's just, it, it ruins me. Yeah, it's sad. Yeah. Where are you? I'm, I'm underneath, I'm oh. repairing everything. It's so short, dude. Whoa! Oh. Oh, what's this? A PDA here. Dude, VR, VR suit, suit log. Whoa, 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 what is that? VR suit log loading program. Desert Island Drama Vera, size three players, resources normal, spawning players on beach. What is this? Wait, is it? It's like, um, oh, it's just VR, is it? I don't, maybe, I don't know. I mean, it we is... have bay one and two. Do you think that's how we learn how to do the Seamoth thing? Wait, player one has been washed away by an unusually high tide. Player two has traded a coconut with player three for 10 credits. <laughs> player three, it's like, it's, it's just a log. It's a server log. VR survival. Right, are we uh, are we continuing on? We definitely need the uh, uh, the laser cutter this way. Yeah, yep. Uh, I can't believe you didn't bring that with us, dude. I thought you could bring that too. Dude, I can't believe how short you are. You just become shorter and shorter every time I look at you. That's bullying. <gasps> oh my God! What is this? Whoa! Is this the drive core? Did you grab cool? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just. I envy you, dude. You're so excited about this. It's really cool. <laughs> you don't like this. This yeah, is so no, interesting. This is really, really cool, actually. So this. <laughs> I can't believe you just did that. It's evil. Yeah, sorry. Don't so, worry about it. I'm not, I'm not talking again now. No. I'm all, I'm all embarrassed now. I'm no. not talking. <laughs> no, no, no. Enjoy yourself, dude. No, I'm not enjoying myself anymore. I'm stressed now. You, you put me... Oh, you put me oh, 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 oh. At maximum tolerable level. Do you see that? Cyclops engine. Acquired. I was really focused on putting that fire out. I'm sorry. Wait, what did you just find? Uh, Cyclops stuff. Wait a minute. Wait, There's I a breach in this thing. Wait, I totally missed that. Yeah, come to the surface. There's there's holes in the drive core, and it, it's sparking it. So do we come, need to come, fix it? Come to the surface a minute. Yeah, have you brought a repair tool? Uh, yeah, I should have a repair tool. Yeah. 
we uh, we should we, we might be able to repair one of these uh, one of these cores. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches. Re do you not have the uh, repair weapon? No, no, I'm repairing it right now. Oh, you do. Further breaches detected. Radiation levels decreasing, Fisk. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes, because it radiated around there, all right, isn't it? Further breaches detected. We repaired the core, so the radiation is uh, is going away now. So, do you remember when we swam uh, swam <laughs> behind the aurora? Do you remember that? <laughs> Dude, yeah, I'm no. done. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah so that that should be gone now. Okay. Yeah, Why sweet, does this right? music sound like tinnitus in my ear? <laughs> Drive <laughs> never again. <laughs> right, we need to find what this room does. Oh, what's that? What are those things? It's gonna suck on you. <laughs> okay. We need a. Uh, I really, really want to go and get the laser cutter tool. Um, should we do that then? Yeah, I wanna. I wanna go back. Wait, what's this room again? This was the. This was. Was this the sea moth room? Wait. Yeah, sea moth thing. And it's still flooded, right? And we can't open we those can't doors. Open, there. No. I think this is. Right. Isn't this one of those arms that holds the sea moth? Yeah, it was what we've got in the yeah. moon pool thing. Um. I just, I'm trying to work out if there's anything we've actually missed in terms of like like public documents. Right, we've got something Dude, here. your armor looks really cool now. Thank you. What do you mean? Wait, it looks, uh, it's like your oh, silver. Moth. Yeah, it's oh, all silver yeah, yours on you. Oh, too. Black and silver. Are we, are we just really, really cool? Dude, oh, wait, has it changed our colors because we changed that? Maybe. I mean, it's all whack, but I, I like that. Uh, let's get the, the laser cutter. Yeah, we'll get the laser cutter. We'll come back. We'll open the rest of these doors. Can't leave uh, any stone unturned. And I'm going to call it right now. Not going to be anything behind this door. <laughs> Can you get out of the way? <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a reaper on the other side. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, suck I, me I in. I want there to be like a Cthulhu tentacle and just grab you and pull you through. Go on. Oh, you, as soon as I say that, you put, look at you, you pull back. Oh, dude. What? Whoa. What the fuck is this? Uh, that scared me. I don't know why. Black, oh, box, black box, dude. Integrating new PDA data. Wait, wait. Are these the ah, drive? Power? Are, these the, are, <laughs> are these the power cells for the Aurora? I don't I know what this be. is. This is scaring me, dude. I don't like it. We can go. Ah, this way. This go way. On me, on me, on me. All right, breathe. We're gonna, we're breathe. gonna have to, oh, to submerge. Oh, that's oh my god, that's sh my shadow. <laughs> Come on, I'm going. <laughs> Jesus, yeah, yeah, let's go. Oh, don't get caught on the pipes, this. Don't get caught on the pipes. This reminds me of uh, you know Windows 95, that uh, <laughs> screensaver. <laughs> yep, yep. Dude, what is I don't is know where this? we're going. I don't. Get, come and get some air. Come here. Uh, this way where everything is burnt. Right here. Yep, so Watch out, dude. Uh, I oh, don't have go. a... Oh, Fisk! <gasps> Look up! Oh! No, no, no way, dude! How do you get up there, though? There we go. Can we get up this? Dude, oh, no. Can't get up it. How do you... Here we go. This? Here we go. Here we go. Nice. Dude, so how many things... There. Oh, there's so many new things, dude! Yeah, this episode's had it all. Yep. Yep. <laughs> the only thing we need, though, is the oh locker room. Repair. Wait, repair. repair tool? I'm all over that. The only thing we need is that that Cyclops hull fragment, and then we'll, we'll be golden. Yep. 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 Wait. Why are you not opening then? Picking up a faint black box signature oh. originating on the other mm. side of the hull breach in this room. Fisk. Hull breach. What? Wait, no way you can I get into found. that. Nope. But we got it, dude, <gasps> if we want to make it. What? The yep, whole suit? We got, we got the suit if we want to make it, Fisk. Oh, no way. I can become Iron Moon. <laughs> dude, that's so Arun sick. Moon. Are you moving all the... Uh, the yeah, bits? dude, I'm so excited about this. We are end game what? right now, dude. <laughs> I told you you'd like this. Oh, we got so many people at the beginning. So you saw it. Where are you going? Ah. Oh. So many people at the beginning saying you're being so nasty making Fisk play this. I knew you'd like it. 
Huh? You, yeah, and people th don't seem to understand I have my own will as well, that if I wouldn't like to play this, I wouldn't. No, you don't. No. no. <laughs> Who am I kidding, right? <laughs> Dude, your parkour skills are on a next level. Yeah, that's what happens when you're oh, Swedish, you know? Oh, you get born with amazing parkour skills? Yeah, you need to uh, parkour yourself yes. out of that vulva. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, right, we made it to the top. Dude, this is so cool. Ooh, a kitty. Living quarters. Look at that cat. Find oh. stuff we need, Fist. Stop looking at pictures There's of cats. There's so many things, dude. If you needed any food or anything, I've just yoinked it all. Did you eat when we got back? Uh, I, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I brought some fish as well. Okay. Have you, um, have you got a fire extinguisher? Uh, yeah. Uh. Right, what we got? Single wall shelf. Yeah. Nice. Today's menu. Wait. Oh, dude, oh, di flies. dinner, chicken and pork. <laughs> Stop reading about the food. Dude, I just love food. Yeah, me too. These are living quarters, though. Did you see that when we came in? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We might find some, like, a uh, diary or something. All right, Dude, we'll I just want to... You go that want, way? Yeah. I just want to see... Uh, people. Ooh. You want to see dead people? Yeah. Oh, what is that? Single bed, dude. No, I just found a, a bag. A, like an actual, like, a, a bag bag. I picked yeah, yeah. a bag up. Wait, another one. Wait, open storage. It's a storage, dude. Pick up carry. Wait, what? How do I drop that? Drop. Oh, so that's it holds. What was it? Oh, we can Five. put stuff in it. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I'm gonna put all my batteries in there. Then. Nice. If you find the code, let me know. Integrating new PDA Did you just find data. that one? Relationship uh, ship contract. Yeah, yeah. Okay. These bags look amazing, by the way. They look really comfortable. Yeah, I would love one of these. Uh, but we need a code for cabin one and captain's quarters. You're, you're stressing so hard about this code, Ad. You've said it three times now. <laughs> Re relationship, contract, legal recording. Hold on. I don't see anything in there about a code. Today's menu. The code is chicken and pork, Fisk. <laughs> yeah, chicken, chicken and, and pork. pork. <laughs> right, hold on. Do you want to listen to the, rela uh, the relationship, contract, legal recording? Yeah, let's start it. Three, two, one, go. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying, and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? To zero. You're dumping me. I'm changing the terms of our relationship. How is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? It's a relationship of a kind. You have so many expectations. <gasps> I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. <laughs> it's a judgment. And I feel hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. Why can't you just be happy for me? Jesus. I am happy for you. And I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. That is one broken Dude. relationship, Fisk. Yeah, that's really broken. Wilson is a bitch. Dude, what about the code? I'm trying to find the code. Huh. Yeah, we need a code for that then, don't we? Cabin one, yeah. <gasps> and we have another door to go through. We did, right? Yeah, we did. Do you remember where it was? Uh, the way we, we came? Where's that? This way. You lead the way. Right. Did we have another door down here? Up? Dude, I'm doing this as fast as I can. <gasps> There's something in the water with us. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's one of those bloody, blo bloody. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> so annoying. Dude. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Go in. I'm in. I'm gonna get some air. All right, Ooh. what we got? First aid. Ooh. PDA. Sweet offer. Right. Integrating new PDA data. You're telling me you've been on this rig more than a year and you never took a ride on the outside. Well, now you've only gone and gotten yourself a friend with the keys to a giant PDA friggin' data. robot suit. Hell yeah, dude. We've plain got nothing to do. We'll get a star side. 
Ponce, who's got your name on it. You don't know what the power feels like. So you've crushed an asteroid with your bare, Ooh. heavily mechanical, augmented hands. Want to play catch with the passing meteor? Come to cabin one. Code is 1869. Yes. 1869. That's the one that we needed. Uh, I found another PDA as well. Okay. Um, is uh, there anywhere else we can... Or anything else we can scan? Uh, I haven't seen anything. Go on. Find it in the thing. Uh, well, wait. We need to read the other one as well. Yeah. I don't know where it is, dude. You're so lazy. You know that. Altera Aurora Auxiliary Mission Order. Integrating new PDA data. Responsible autonomous relationships. All good things in life are commodities. We trade love just as we buy and sell stock. We engage in human relationships when there is a fair exchange of value. Support, motivation, affection. Nothing good is ever free. If ever physical good in the Federation came from a single supplier, it would constitute a dangerous monopoly. Okay, yeah, he's, he's talking like, if one member of a relationship should feel threatened or jealous, they must look at their own business model and ask whether it's performing competitively. There's always room for improvement. I'm gonna read all of this. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have some Aurora Auxiliary Emission Order. We we have something. Uh, aux auxiliary Emission Order. What? Okay. Yeah, what? read it. No, you read it. No, I just realized I'm so reading much. everything. Yeah, I no, got dyslexia, you read. dude. It doesn't matter. Read. I'm Swedish dyslexic and left-handed. I'm, I'm me too. I am Swedish, also dyslexia, and also left-handed. Uh, well, what about the code for the captain's quarters, dude? We didn't get that. <gasps> oh, here's the code. Wait, what? <gasps> yeah, he says fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! I should have known. <laughs> so stupid, god damn it. <laughs> oh my fucking god, dude. What? Uh, what? <laughs> Scared my own back, dude. So dude. It's dude. getting a little bit of, uh, it's getting a little bit of, funny, uh, what do you call it? Payback on you? Oh my god, the adrenaline that goes <gasps> to my head. Oh, I thought that was a rib cage. Look straight down, Fisk. Oh, yeah, yeah, that would be cool. Oh, we have a distress call, Fisk. Come distress call. <laughs> Dude, you're so even shorter now. <laughs> Am I really? Yeah. It's, you're like uh, down to your kneecaps yeah, now. You're floating, though. You're not actually stood on the pod. No, you're like, I do. Oh, I, am. You're, I am. No, no, no. You're, you're not. super you're short. <laughs> Shh, bitch. <laughs> can't send a rescue ship all the way out there, so Aurora, you're just gonna have to meet us halfway. We've uploaded blueprints to the ship's We're computer. We're sandwich run, you in? Uh, yeah, give me a second. Black box data shows the high security terminal in the captain's quarters is still functional. Becky's the leaving like it's five minutes. <laughs> all right, well, tell Becky I'll just take the, the regular. <laughs> the regular? Yeah, she'll know what I mean. The code should Maybe be... she doesn't? Just tell her the regular, dude. Okay. The if code... I say regular, she's like, what's the regular? I have to come is that right Neebs? Is that Neebs gaming? Six, seven, nine. Just a oh, there you go. Dude, that's okay. I think that's Neebs. That's so good. I like that getting, call. Yeah, I'm getting really excited. If, have you ever seen? Uh, I'll, I'll tell you later. You'll know. You'll know who they are. Yeah, yeah I know. I know who they are. Um, you're so short. It's so fun to see you this shut short. Shut your mouth. Dude. I'm not short, dude. All right, I'm stealthy. That's what it is. <laughs> you're stealthy. Right. So we discovered a lot more about the Degassi and the crew members. We've got a crap load more tech that we can do. I think what we are going to do to try and get a little bit ahead of stuff, I know this might not be what some people want to hear, but for the sake of making sure we see as much as possible in the time frame that we've got, we want to stick on track with the storyline. And as much as like gathering things is cool, and I know you guys get a laugh out of me and you, me and Fisk arguing all the time. <laughs> I think what we're going to do is do a lot of prep work off screen. So then yep. when it comes to the episodes, we can obviously just go on our adventures and find out a lot more about what's going on or how to maybe get off We're this planet. We're just ready again, to so. go kind of deal. Yeah, so we got the prawn suit. We've got, we still need to find the whole fragment for the Cyclops. We've got a bunch of upgrades now and we've got the working Seamoth as well. And we've got a little bit of a workaround if the mod starts acting up as well. The which, progression today has been bueno. Yeah, it's been cool. I've really enjoyed this so far. And we can yep. go back in in the next episode and find out in the captain's quarters what's going on in there. So if you guys are enjoying this and we know 
We know it's really difficult not to spoil it, guys, but either way, we do appreciate you not putting spoilers in the comments. Little helpful tips every now and again are fine. Please, please, please don't spoil it. If you have stuck with us this far, thank you so much. Subscribe to stay up to date with everything. And as always, we'll see you all in the next one. We do it. Don't worry about it.